together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods, among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hoped to find peace. too heavy for you a few days ago. Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. You could try and lift mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he looks so scared of himself. Sometimes, he looks so scared of himself. <laughs> Not yeah, your usual yeah, shooting range. Right. right? Let's leave the puppy out of this. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. Welcome to Telekinesis 101. Please don't kill your teacher. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. 
just one more time. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever! How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <laughs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. <laughs> cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <laughs> Aw, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? Oh. Sean! You suck! I said don't hit me, jerk! Sorry, I, I thought you would stop it. Serious. Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. Hey, that still sounds nasty. <coughs> You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just... Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests.
good, Dottie. <laughs> Here. Cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Uh, um... Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. No, it's dangerous. You have to find a different way. So... What's the point of having this power? We don't know yet. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But... I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because... you couldn't. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> there was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. Tenny must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. Hello, motel room soap. Yep, 
No more indoor training sessions. Time to get warm. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. Oh. Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. Mmm. Tough it's choice. Like Daniel's delivery service. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. This hot dog man issue is kinda weird. Hey, what are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much, it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. High school feels so far away now. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. These were all I found when I hit the town last week. Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Hmm. I think we'd know it by now. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. <sighs> I'll remember this, traitor. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. This room is fucking cold, so... We put everything we didn't need in it and... Keep it closed. Daniel loves his brand new tablet.
shoot. Poor dog, he's out of water. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. No more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Okay, dinner's ready. Getting sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, Mushroom? <laughs> bon Appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. Sorry, I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Mm, what do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. <sighs> what a great team. Time to play dad, dog. Mother f Daniel! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. 
Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... for what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Complete ship. You're going down, dude. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. Ahoy! I have a crew now. Here comes the loot. <sighs> Better than nothing. Oh, I'm a sucky pirate. <laughs> High score. Ah, not the best score. But I'll do better next time. You'll see. You wish. Yes! All right, I just need a four now. Come on, give me something, anything. Why don't I get a full ship? Come on. Zero. My turn now. Be ready to lose. Can I get something better this time? Complete ship. <sighs> what the hell? We'll see. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean... We beat Dad. Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. Definitely. He was a great pirate. 
Ooh, look at these scores. <laughs> Told you I win. You know what it means? Yeah, okay. You can draw a dick on my back. Hmm, let me think. Hold on. It's not an easy one. Needs concentration. <laughs> Ta-da! Whoa! It's so cool! Thanks, Sean. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. All right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Thank you. 
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. <sighs> so, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Hey, cool down. It's gonna be okay. I know, but... What did you pack in? What the f... <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <sighs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? That's not good. Oh, 
down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's bullshit. We can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Girl, rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven with Dad? <sighs> yeah, I'm sure he will look after her. What about his allergies? Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. I wish we didn't have to go. I'd like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways that stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long.
We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my... Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? So hungry, my belly hurts. I don't know. Maybe we should call them. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. Do you really want to involve other people? Well, maybe he can help. We have to do something. A police officer was killed. Claire, you know? Our grandchildren are Please, for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Feels so awkward to be here. All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, 
Do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station? Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? I don't know. I swear, I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Ah, you... You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico? To Puerto Lobos? Dad has a family house there. Sean... You can't run away from the law like, like, fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise are no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. 
Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <sighs> Plus you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. I can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean, finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Careful! Tunnels ahead! Hold your breath! Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bad. Daniel! <sighs> breakfast time! Your brother is ready. <sighs> Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> ah, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. But Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, 
I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Night, buddy. The five by four? Thirty six? Ah, uh, hold on. Hey, Mr. Pout. What's going on? Why do I have to do homework when I'm not even in school? <laughs> I know it sucks, but you still have to learn things. Or you'll become dumb. Okay. But these problems are stupid. <laughs> I know, man. I've been there too. Just do your best. I'm done. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. Aw, you had a dog? Hmm. Isn't she in heaven? With mushroom? Of course she is. But she's Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's it's fine, really. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> Too bad it's broken. It's it's fine, really. We don't have to. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. 
But it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool anyway. Yeah. Such a big fireplace. Well, and not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. Hey. Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> I almost started dating this one person. But I guess not anymore. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like Dad. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me. I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah. And I'm not always the best role model. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. <sighs> That's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Stephen could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was like a mini paradise. Of course he would. That doesn't mean you'll think that. We'll see.
You really had weird, ugly hair. Daniel, you would have looked the same back then. <laughs> I would never I heard get Claire happened. rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? <laughs> Escape to pleasure? Man, does Claire read all these? Hey, I want to be in your drawing. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you practice. You're so passionate. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Nope. I can't do anything without moving. looking up first. Hope I look good. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Ah, poor man. We've all been there. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. 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 I'm not moving. Hmm. Hope I Pretty look good. good. But I can add more details if I want. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Mm. Fair point. Never really thought of it that way. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. No problem. It's cool that Claire does her... little paintings. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. Mmm. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. She would be brutal. Yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home.
<laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. What's even the point of having so much crockery? I'm fine. Just bored. <sighs> I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? <laughs> Deep in the woods, no one around. No way. Two stairs. You're not the only one Karen hurt. I wonder what it was like to grow up with them. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind? Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. It happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, uh, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like some kind of invisible force, a, a holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. Uh, by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is uh, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Uh, We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run. 
That won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. What's over here? In it's car? good. Ah, oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no! I'm busy! D busy my ass! Come over here! I know you're in there. Gotcha! What the? Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? All right, let's get it over with. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy.
Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. <sighs> Come on, man. I put all your toys in the trash, dude. What? Really? Of course not. But next time you bail on me? That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Of course not. But next time you bail on me, maybe I will. Okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Oh, man, finally! It feels so good to be outside. It reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! What did Claire say? <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. Sean, look! Yeah, uh, we did. Um, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. That T-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. 
Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it... really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? I know you only wanted to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah, but it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Daniel. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Okay? Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That kitten never listens. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. We had a good time decorating the tree together last night. Daniel loved it. Oh, right. Sunday morning. Claire and Steven must be at church. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, Brody makes everything interesting. <laughs> Even the weirdest stuff.
Okay. Let's get this brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. Crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally. I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? I don't know. Something cool like El Diez Blo Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh... Score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Careful. It may be tricky. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? You sure?
Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff, anyway. Well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Obviously. All hail Captain Spirit, the first and only Carpenter Vigilante. Oh, too cold. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. 
He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow. So many trees. Uh, you coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Jeez, Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. What about this one? Hey. Hey, Sean. What's up? Just wanted to thank you for bringing us out here. Hey, no problem. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. It's kind of a tiny place. It's perfect. Don't worry. Good luck with that tree. Yeah, I sure need it. It's not an easy task with this guy. Come get me when you're done. I will. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, but we never surrendered. Behold, the giant condom machine. Blue spruces left. Look at another one. This one looks like a cactus. A snow cactus. A snack. Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Good. Tell me Hi, you everybody. Need. Okay. Sure. We're taking a year I'm off to run now. away from got cops. All the supplies in my truck, Daniel so has got worry. telekinesis now. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Hey, um, uh, can I get one of these bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. Here you go. 
Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now, before Claire and Steven come back. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. Poor kid. Sorry, I'm... I'm just a grumpy old gal. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. <sighs> Man. That sounds wicked. You have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? <laughs> hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. 
You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You too quick! Ah! Anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a Wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. When I look at you and Daniel, <laughs> how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris <laughs> deserves a real family. Anyway... I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. 
We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris, they seem like good people. They're so nice, but yeah, they have their problems too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad over here. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. The door's still locked. I just... Don't get why they- We'll find a way to open it. Or, I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, alright? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. How much more Irish can you be? Sean, hurry up. They might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? Yeah. Not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> definitely no hidden key. Shit, these are Christmas presents? 
Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Sean! I saw Grandma... Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can't. Okay, Daniel. Uh. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Yes. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left. I don't recognize any of these games. I'm sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. This playlist is boring as hell. I miss my music. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you I think I saw a moon eclipse once, before Daniel was born. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking, but here I was. <laughs> I miss my skateboard and going to the park hmm. with Lila. That's how Mom used to smell. I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume, from what I remember. Oh. Okay. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. I think I remember that one. Why would they remove all the pictures? Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses, because they made them sad. Yeah. Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I guess. So cool. Hi, Ulysses. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. It's like she almost never used those.
So, you were a friend of my mommy's? Yeah. I hope we she finally left forever. These pictures are so random. <sighs> Read a lot she of these in the tenth grade. When she went on trips? <sighs> Yawn. I wonder my mom loved it so much. Not that this plate is boring as hell. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? These letters look pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me, what are you both doing in here? Except visibly, ransacking our house while we're at church? Well, is that all you have to say? Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen, they went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. You... You lied to us! We found Mommy's letter! She wants to see us! She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't fear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, 
That shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy. After what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Daniel, now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? My baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel.
Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. You... You said I should be more careful. But... Because of you. I didn't do anything, and... I could have. Hey. You don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <sighs> you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is dead? You could see the car slow down before. So, Chris will be fine. Trust me. You, you promise? Promise. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard.
So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. <laughs>